Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, I wanna share with you this gorgeous collection of PET tape and washi tape that have been sent to me from the washi tape shop. They very kindly sent me a collection to try and I really wanted to share it with you today. I have got an exclusive coupon code as well, which I'll share with you a little bit later on, but I'm just gonna show you all of the um, products that they sent me. So that first tape is the Hornbill PET tape. And then this one is the Golden Blossom tape. So it's clear tape and you peel off the backing tape and you've got like stickers. You can use it as it is in a strip or you can fussy cut elements out. And it's absolutely perfect for art journaling, card making, whatever kind of crafts that you like. I reckon you could even use this on your nails and then give it some clear varnish over the top. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning. The artwork is beautiful. This one is the Harvest Hues tape. Now, a lot of these tapes are available as PET tape, but you can also get the same designs on washi tape as well. So you have got the option there, or you can buy them as a collection. So I love the fact that you've got the option, uh, depending on what you prefer to craft with. This tape is the Pink Ballet Wide tape, and we'll be using that in today's video to create a gorgeous card. I'm just gonna show you how the back just peels off. So you've got basically a lovely clear sticker. And of course you can fussy cut the elements out or you can use it as it is. This one is called Frozen and I love these pastel blues, creams um, and kind of like muted tones. Very, very pretty. And I've got some lovely ideas for that tape as well. I did request when they sent me the tape that they sent me the cat tape because I absolutely love cats and I love this tape. The design doesn't repeat for quite a while. So you've got um, the colourful cats at the start and then you've got these lovely black and white cats and sentiments as well. So lots to play with there. This tape is the blush wide tape and it's a gilded tape and it's holographic. It's absolutely stunning. I've just never seen tape like this before. You can of course get this tape in a washi tape as well. And then finally, I'm going to share with you the three um, sticker washi tapes that I was sent. This collection is called the Tea Temptations and the three rolls come together. So these are all little stickers and they're so cute. And they'd be perfect for scrapbooking, art journaling, bullet journaling, card making, whatever it is you like to do, uh, even if it's just to collect stickers as well. Now, this is the Rose Noir Gilded PET tape. I've left it wrapped up because I wanted to show you how it came in the box. So I haven't opened this yet. And all the tapes came like this, beautifully wrapped in tissue paper with a label top and bottom, one which shows you what the design is and the label on the bottom shows you the actual name of the tape. And each roll is held together with a little bit of sellotape. So once you've found the end and you peel it back, you can see the absolute gorgeous tape. So I think you can just about make out the gild in there on the camera. It's almost like a rose gold tint to it. Very, very pretty. So now I'm going to show you how we can use PET tape in our card making. And I'm going to be using this tape. It's, it's really, really pretty. And I've got a few really good ideas to use the tape for, but today we're just going to create a fairly simple card. So first of all, I'm using my cutter B scissors and I'm just cutting a strip of the tape off. And we're going to use as many of the elements on that strip as possible. And I just really want to show you here how easy it is to cut the tape. I'm barely needing any pressure at all. The scissors just glide through the tape. And so all I'm going to do is just fussy cut carefully around the images. Now, because this is um, PET tape and the scissors are just gliding through it like butter, it's very, very easy to fussy cut. So I know the images look a little bit complicated, but I promise you it's actually really easy just to glide your scissors around the shape. And again, the best technique when fussy cutting is to move the paper rather than the scissors. I'm not needing to put pressure on, so they're just sliding around and it's making it very easy just to fussy cut it. Once I've fussy cut the image out, I can peel off the backing tape and then I can stick that down on my project where I want it to go. Now, unlike washi tape, it's not very easy to reposition it. So whereas it's not stuck to my mat and I can lift it up, it's a little bit more tricky once you stick it down to then peel it back off the paper. It's not impossible, but it's not the same as washi tape in regards to that. So that's just something to bear in mind. So now what I'm going to do is fussy cut another image and I'm going to then pop that in the top right hand corner. And again, I just really want to show you how easy it is just to fussy cut that image out. Now, you don't need to cut very carefully to fussy cut because the tape is clear. But obviously you do want to get kind of like a nice border around the tape because it has got a slight sheen to it. So you will see that on the paper very lightly. You can just about make it out there. So you do want to fussy cut neatly, but it doesn't really matter too much because the tape is clear. 
So off camera, I've gone ahead and fussy cut all of the elements that I'm going to use. And I've just kind of worked out roughly where I want the layout to be. And so now all I'm doing is working out exactly which way I want the flowers to be, taking off the backing tape and then just sticking those down. And I really wanted to just show you how easy it is to use this tape to create a border uh, or background paper. Um, there's so many different things you could do with this tape. So I've definitely got a few more ideas coming up in future videos. And let me know in the comments below if you've used PET tape in your card making or crafts before. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Um, also, I mentioned at the beginning, I have got a special discount code. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, if you go and check out the washi tape shop, if you use the code murky10, so M-U-R-K-Y-1-0, then you'll be able to get a little discount off your order as well. So that was something the washi tape shop very kindly gave me. So all I'm doing now is I've stuck all the elements down and I'm just using my long bladed Tim Holtz scissors just to trim off the excess. Again, it's very, very easy just to do that. And I've got a little gap at the bottom, so I'm just going to use some of that leftover just to kind of attach that over. And I love the fact that you can layer over the PT tape so you can add other elements over the top of it. So for example, this leaf, I decide I'm going to add that on as well. And so there is the finished background panel. And I just think it looks so, so pretty. Again, there's just so many ideas that were going through my mind when I was playing with this tape. So, yeah. So I'm just going to add a small sentiment to the centre of this card. I'm using the Gina K Designs Petite Geranium stamp set and the sentiment says thanks a million. And I'm just going to use my anti-static powder bag all over that card front just to make sure that there's no static. I'm then going to bring in a scrap of paper and I'm going to bring in my Wow Embossing ink pad and I'm just going to add some ink to that stamp and then stamp that in the centre of the card. I'm going to be using the Wow Polished Gold Embossing Powder today and because of the PT tape, I wasn't sure if any um, how it would react with the embossing powder on top of it with it being a plastic. So all I did was just flip the card over rather than that, let the powder slide all over the card and I found that it was absolutely fine. So I've just got my heat tool on the highest setting, I've just heat set that sentiment and then I'm going to glue this layer down to a lovely pink matte layer that kind of matches the colours on the tape and then I'm just going to attach that to a A6 card blank. I'm then just going to add a few gold enamel dots just to finish off the card and then that is the finished card for today. So thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I really hope that it's given you some inspiration of ways that you could use your PET tape if you've got any or even washi tape. You could do this exactly the same way with washi tape. So as always, I really appreciate the fact that you've took the time to watch this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and leave me a comment. And if you'd like to see more from my channel, then please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. All the products that I've used today will be linked in the description box below. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.